tonight's quick little video is about the pocket money kit number four, a uh, simple shuttle. Um, of a quick and easy little project uh, that I managed to frustrate myself with by cutting some tracks in the wrong place and having to patch the board. But that's how it goes. Um, so here is what it looks like. It's a tri triple five timer based project. Um, the idea is that the triple five runs a relay that's in my fingers there and one of the connectors on the outside here um, is for the track and the other is for power doesn't matter which way you use them around and um, right now this time is going off at an unrealistic rate where uh, the train would be moving for a few seconds in one direction and turning going the other way it's timer based so it has no idea of where the train is <coughs> It's designed to uh, be used with a couple of diodes on the track, so once it, the locomotive gets into an area protected by a diode, the, the loco will stop. Then when the timer cuts over again, the loco will go back and end up stopping in an area protected by a diode on the other end. So what you have to do is to make the timer run for long enough to get the train into that location. Uh, the original uh, kit has a fixed resistor for the timing, uh, but the documentation talks about adding a variable resistor, and that's what I've done over here. I put that on, and I wound it through its full range, and I found that it, at its minimum range it was clicking away like crazy. Um, so I did some measurement and found that by adding a 39K resistor, I could get it so that its fastest rate was okay for testing, but would never be suitable for a shuttle. Now, I could wind the time out on that pot, but uh, it probably will sit there for longer than I'm going to talk on this video. Um, what I found this time was that these larger blue connectors fit quite well across two holes, across three holes in the 0.01 board. Uh, so they were quite handy particularly for doing the crossovers underneath the relay for the crossover switch. Um, that's about it. Um, my mistakes are quite evident on the other side where I forgot to put in the link for the reset uh, and ran out of space so I had to put a link in there for the Kynar wire. Later on I realised yet again I'd uh, with all the stuffing around I'd, I'd forgotten to and left myself no room to put a, a um, power lid on it. So that's what the other patch is, uh, to bring positive down to the diode. And yes, there's a little surface mount resistor in there to go back to ground to do the work. Simple little kit. Um, one of the things I've been considering is actually using a DCC loco. Um, because one of the DCC decoders I've got, I've found when it's operating in DC mode, when you kill the power or reverse the power, it uh, actually slows down at its braking rate. Now that's not going to work with the diode, but at least when it takes off, it can be controlled by its momentum settings. And the other thing I can do is to set the um, maximum speed of the loco to be quite low, so the stop doesn't seem anywhere near so abrupt. Um, so yeah, that's what I was thinking, rather than connecting a controller up to it, um, just give it 12 volts and 12 volts DC and do some changes in a decoder for the test. Practical reality with the time I've got till the train show, it'll probably be grab a DC loco and uh, take that with me. One of the things that is interesting with this kit is usually with a triple five you find that there's a um, a transistor in there between the triple five and the relay. This time there's not. It's just diode protected on the relay. Um, triple fives have a fair bit of drive. So it obviously seems to do the, do the job. But yeah, most circuits I've seen have a transistor to do that separation. Uh, other changes on this one? Yeah, there's a mistake up here where I cut a track and I had to put a link across. But where the power comes in, I put a, a reverse polarity protection diode as I usually do. That's it. Um, this diode, this, um, yeah, the, the relay cut over. I'll kill that light and you can see the little green lid. I'll wind it down. Oh, I didn't need to. So yeah, you can see the, the lids going there. 
That's it. Um, enjoy your day, evening, whatever you're up to in your part of the world. And thank you. Bye.